Good morning. My name is John Enosa, poet living in Northern California. Today I'm going to be reading a poem from 2015 in call, titled Lemon Tarts. Um, it's actually based on a true story. Lemon Tarts. My daughter had on a documentary about the third greatest restaurant in the world. No small thing, a bronze medal comparing all the restaurants in the world. Didn't see much of it, the film playing in the other room while I worked, thinking about what to write. Actually, I didn't see any of it, save for this one scene. Walked in to ask a question and saw this, the story of the broken lemon tart. Apparently, Massimo and his sous chef were preparing an important meal. Dessert was up. Two last guests to serve. Two lemon tarts left. The sous chef, Taka, from Japan, struggling to learn Italian, working hard to become the best chef that he could be, turned and dropped a tart, smashing it on the counter next to the plate, not on it. I wanted to commit harikari, he recalls, in perfect Italian, making the gesture across his belly. Wait, said the chef, wait. He wanted to kill himself, recalls Massimo. I said, wait, hold on. Do you trust me? Looking at the splash of yellow against the white of the plate, Massimo saw it, the solution in plain sight, here. He picked up the pieces of the tart and arranged them artistically onto the plate. Blood of yellow spilling out in a lovely design. He took the other tart, perfect, and smashed it. They served two broken tarts, arranged spectacularly on white plates. Perfect modern art. They called it, oops, I dropped the lemon tart. The customers were delighted. You couldn't taste the difference, recalls the food critic. Now, the third most celebrated restaurant in the world, there is a waiting list, very long, still serves its signature dessert of broken tarts on perfect plates. The sous chefs break them now on purpose with special mallets. People wait patiently up to a year for their tarts to be broken. Thanks for listening. Ciao.